today we're going to build a transition for this um, coming from the tile to the carpet when we got this house um, we got it from my boss and he had done this tile in here in the kitchen with the nice wood uh, surrounding it it's really nice he did it he's an excellent tile guy the best tile man I've ever seen so um, but he didn't have time to build this transition before we moved in and um, I've never built one by myself but I've helped him build a bunch of them the houses that we build we do all custom built transitions to fit you know the height difference between the floor that the floor differences between carpet and and tile or carpet and core tech or core tech and tile with vinyl plank flooring depending on the type of flooring we build transitions to, to make that that fit so uh, the first thing I need to do is measure the difference between the height of the carpet and the height of the tile which is a half of an inch and uh, so that means I'm gonna have to cut out a half inch more out of the part that's gonna ride on top of this tile than the part that's gonna sit on the carpet here so we're gonna go outside and do some measuring and some marking make some rips on the table saw do a little routing and some sanding and then we'll come back in and figure out this angle um, because I'm not exactly sure what this angle is yet we'll use a piece of scrap to get our angle fit and then we'll cut the transition to length on those angles glue it in place all right so back to the transition um, we've got this piece of oak that we ripped out of this we had a delivery to one of our job sites where they were using these big red oak 4x4s as dunnage and uh, they were going to throw them away so i salvaged them and brought them home because I can't stand to see something get thrown away that I could probably use. So we've got this red oak rip. It's a one and a half by one and a half. And uh, there might be one and three quarter. I don't remember what I ripped it to. One and three quarter by one and three quarter. And uh, we're going to route the top edges. I've kind of looked at it and figured out where I want the best edges to be. And it's easier to route this before you cut it down to make the transition because you've got more to hold on to and more to work with. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get the router out and get it set up. And uh, I may actually try the router on this to get it set the depth right. Borrowed a router from work. This is a 3 8 roundover bit that I'm using. It might take me a minute to get it set to the right depth. That's what I want right there. Just lay that on the ground. And I've already looked at this and figured out which side I want to be the top. And it's this. This is what I want to be my top right here. And um, it's not perfect, but it will be by the time I finish with it. I'm not sure what happened there. But we ripped this out of a piece of raw material, so. <laughs> of our transition and this is going to be trimmed and the other end will be trimmed and uh, this is going to be the top and we know that our difference between our carpet and our tile was a half of an inch so we have to figure how much we want on top of our on top of our tile and I'm gonna say probably about a quarter of an inch right there and then so if we add another half of an inch to this then we need to be down here at three quarters of an inch for our final rip that's that's how tall this whole thing will be It's three quarters of an inch so we're going to take all this right here off of it that's going to be all gone then we're going to rip from here over from here down 
and then from here over and it's going to be shaped this part will be gone and this part will be gone and uh well we might move these lines over but we're going to draw them and then make our x's where we're actually going to cut it and figure out the distance how much of this part we'll save and how much we'll take out from here it's basically going to be shaped like an l kind of something like this and uh this part will be where the carpet is this part will come over and be on top of the tile this is what we're going to end up with so you'll see that here in a minute as we go through all right so jack i need to figure out how much i'm going to take off actually i'm going to run that piece against the rip fence so we'll take three quarters of an inch rip this down to three quarters and uh I have learned not to trust the uh, rip fence gauges on table saws. So I'm going to take this to half of an inch, or three quarters of an inch rather, right there. Check it up in front of the blade, see we're off right there. So we bump that over right there, there's three quarters. This saw is not plugged in, by the way. And that's three quarters back there. Okay. So now we're ready. Cut this off. Hey, you want Jeremiah? Yeah, this, this. this one right here, that big fat one. Yep, that's the saw. We're going to cut this. about this much to be where the carpet is so that measurement is nine sixteenths I mean an inch and a sixteenth so if I take an inch and a sixteenth does my blade go that high the blade is all the way up the blade will go well an inch only so what I'm gonna have to do is uh, is I can't cut that from the back side I'm gonna have to take this as just as high as my blade will go which is right there and remember I wanted a quarter of an inch across here so what I'm gonna do is set my rip fence at one quarter of an inch Blade. We're going to go as deep as the blade will go this way. So we're going to do that right now. So now I'm going to measure over this distance. God bless you. Thank you. Which is an inch. Yep, it's exactly an inch. So what we're going to do now is set our rip fence back over an inch. Huh? No, it's just crooked. It's not two inches. It's not that crooked, buddy. But it's just crooked. Okay. All right. Now we've got to set our blade depth, which is the distance between here and this top of this cut. And that is 
three eighths. So I'm gonna three eighths will get us in there without cutting through. Yep, let's do three eighths of an inch height on our blade depth. You know, I'm gonna use something else to test this with so I can get this set right because it's important that it's accurate. You got me on the video, Jack? Yes, sir. So I used this piece just to check my blade depth, and that is three eighths of an inch, which is about the middle of that cut. So I'm gonna double check with my eyes here to make sure. I look like I need to bring over, move out of the way, Jack. I look like I need to bring the rip fence over some more. Just looking. Uh, all right, you can stay right there. Okay, so bring it over here. So here we have our transition. This part will ride on the tile. This part will sit on the carpet. And we'll glue this down, but we're gonna finish sanding it. A little more, we'll do some hand sanding, probably some more sanding with the uh, with the palm sander. And uh, then we're gonna stain it and clear coat it. So that's that. Get some more sanding down here, Bobby. We've got our transition made. We've got it stained and polyurethane. So that's it. I got a little wild with the saw right there. Actually, the thing kicked down into the, between the fence and the blade is what happened there. When I made that last cut, but so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this. It's an 11 degree angle in there, and it's about 54. I'm gonna cut it 54 and 7 eighths, long point to short point, and um, it may be a little long, but I'm kind of erring on the side of caution. <laughs> can always come back and trim off what I don't need. said 54 and 7 eighths long point to short point I um this is the long point of my miter and down here is the short point of my miter so that's what I mean when I say long point to short point it's just a straight cut from here all the way down this side to there all right let's go inside let me look. all right so we've made our transition and uh I went ahead and notched this piece of corner trim out. So it can go under there. And uh, so here, my cut was actually really good. So what we're gonna do, we'll take some adhesive like liquid nails and spread all up underneath here. And then we're gonna take this and put it in place and weight it down with some things. And we'll block it with chairs so nobody can walk on it. But, uh, and we'll, it'll sit for about 12 hours and it should be there from now on after that. So that's how it is. This is what I was talking about, the step up between the, uh, is basically makes the transition there. That's why they call it that. So that's what it is. 